If you think a tiny mistake can't almost crash a jet full of people, you've never heard of the Gimli Glider. July 23rd. An Air Canada Boeing 767 takes off from Montreal, heading to Edmonton. Brand new jet, modern systems. Everyone trusts this airplane. There was. But on the ground, before takeoff, someone made a simple math error. They loaded fuel using pounds instead of kilograms. On paper, the numbers looked fine. In reality, the plane had about half the fuel it needed. At 41,000 feet, the cockpit starts lighting up. Fuel pressure warnings. The crew tries to troubleshoot, but the problem is bigger than they think. Then one engine flames out. Moments later, the second one dies too. Both engines gone. The Boeing 767 turns into a giant, silent glider. No thrust. Limited instruments. Only gravity and whatever skill the pilots have. Captain Bob Pearson happens to be a glider pilot. He uses that experience to nurse the powerless jet toward an old airfield in Gimli. What he doesn't know is that Gimli is now a racetrack. With people and kids on the runway, he sideslips the 767 to lose speed. Drops hard onto the strip, the nose gear collapses, the plane skids, but it stays in one piece, and everyone on board survives. All because one tiny fuel conversion mistake turned a high-tech airliner into the world's most famous Gimli glider.